Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm going to talk about Blackhawk goalie mask and the ones I like over their time from the time I started watching the Blackhawks. Well, I am not going to wear that mask the entire video if you thought I was, but let's get started. First goalie mask on this list is Christopher Hugh Waits 2010 Heritage Mask from when the Hawks would wear their third jerseys that used to be their um, 2009 Winter Classics. The only factor it's different is the factor they added those Tomahawks. The thing is with these this mess up Hugh Wait wore he had Tony Esposito on one side of the mask and I always forget this goalie's name I don't know no he he had Murray Batterman on the other side I don't know how I almost forgot his name I do like this mask it's a cool one to see next up is a mask you all should be familiar with it's one that was on the team last season. It's a Corey Crawford, it's Corey Crawford's current mask he wears. It, what I like about this mask, he puts a fl flare to all his mask he has in previous years. Like, the factor on the top of the mask right there, he put, the Indian head and the feathers on the side he's always had that and on the side right there it's from his previous mask before this one it's the tomahawks I like how he incorporated former masks with his current and next on the list has two masks technically um, the one on the left, it's Scott Darling's first Winter Classic mask from 2017. He created two, actually. One, and they're both for the Chicago Cubs, because he's a diehard Cub fan. On that side, it has Harry Carey, the Wrigley Marquis, and Anthony Rizzo. On the second mask, this one has Anthony Rizzo on both sides of the mask and the marquee and on right beside Rizzo. And what I like about this one, he, the, the artist did pencil art. They sketched it. And that one was pure airbrush done and it's amazing looking. So next on the list, <laughs> okay, this one's a little bit of a joke. It wouldn't be on this list unless if I did not get to, a chance to wear it. This is Corey Crawford's first ever mask he had in the NHL. He wore this when the Norfolk Admirals were the Blackhawks um, AHL affiliate before the Rockford Ice Hogs. If you see right there, that's the Admirals logo. On the side, it's the Indian head. Here's a picture of me wearing it. So if I did not get a chance to wear this, this mask would not be on this list. But I like it. Oh, oh, sorry. So now let's go to this mask. The 2015 Scott Darling Playoff Mask. What I like about it is that right there he had... Chicago icons. Right, that is actually Portello's logo with a Italian beef behind it. It has um, the Blues Brothers, the lion from one of the lions from the um, art museum, the bean saying Chicago on it, and the Chicago skyline around it. 
on the other side of this mask, sorry, is the Indian head with the Navy Pier um, Ferris wheel. And Cor uh, Scott Darling wore this in the 2015 playoffs. And honestly, this probably is my favorite all-time mask in Blackhawks history just because how cool he had how he incorporated Chicago icons to it. Next up, I do love this mask. It's Christopher Hugh Waite's 2009 Winter Classic mask. He had the Wrigley marquee on the as the center point for the mask. Two Indian heads on the each side. On the underneath, he had. A fan with a sign saying Go Hawks Go, which is a little bit odd in my opinion because um, we say Let's Go Hawks, but I, I love this mask. It's a thing of beauty. Maybe it's because I'm also a Cub fan. Next up, Corey Crawford's 2013 playoff to 2015 playoff mask. Crow stopped wearing this mask from... Um, after Game 5 of the 2015 Stanley Cup playoffs and switched to his previous mask that he had from his before his current one. Well, I've, I always love this mask. The detail work in this is the factor I love this mask. The airbrush work, how he had the Indian head like that. It was just a thing of beauty on ice. Next up, uh, rest in peace Ray Emery, but I always loved his mask. He had both sides a Native American on each side. And ha how it's um, interpreted, it's one of, it, probably Emery's best mask ever and it sounds like Crawford may do something in honor for Emery since he helped Crow win the Jennings in 2013 since Ray Emery also had it and with what all happened about a week ago I feel like if Crow comes out wearing a Ray Emery style mask will be a cool idea just because they were both teammates and on the back of it, that is actually um, Ray Emery's nickname, Razor. Next up, Antti Ranta's 2013 to 2014 rookie season mask. I like this one. It's pretty subtle. Doesn't have a lot of detail. The only detail is right in those red lines up there. It would have all those feathers, but. It's a really nice and mask. I just can't, I don't have a lot of words to say about this one. I just like the look of this mask. And it's probably Granta's best mask in his entire NHL career. Next up, Anti Niami's mask. And this is the last mask on this list. Niami wore this in 2010. Won the cup with us. What I like about Niami, he's always had a, pa a design on the side like that. All teams are different at the end of it. I can't, don't know what the Habs logo, Habs mask looks like, but what I liked about it is the factor that he won us a cup in it. Well, I told you about my favorite mask from the Blackhawks over time from when I started watching. And let me tell, uh, let's see what's your favorite, like, five masks down below for the Blackhawks. And if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe. And most of all, let's go hot.